Hello everyone, my name is Unknown, and welcome to CapCut Editing Tips I Had to Learn Myself. This is the pro version. Some of these things that I am going to be talking about isn't for the free version, but you can get somewhat of an idea of what I'm talking about, and maybe if you had these issues, it might help you. So these are just some things that I learned after the past six hours of editing a four minute video after doing some research on YouTube with different content creators that had tips on CapCut. And these are some things that I wasn't able to figure out based on off of those videos or they're just interesting tips that you can probably use yourself one of the main things is navigating instead of having to come to these little icons or using this to zoom in and out or using the scroll to go left and right definitely take a look at the shortcut section up here and look through all of these to figure out what what you use the most and just start getting used to actually using those because it just helps navigating your clip so much easier and in my case zooming in and zooming out with control and scrolling in and scrolling out is just really nice on the mouse because my mouse is being used a lot of this time so you might as well just do that instead of moving your mouse clicking over here and doing it like that it gives you more range of like being able to do things quickly another thing i didn't know is if you hold alt and scroll in and scroll out you scroll to the right or left which is, is so much nicer because i only knew about the scroll in to zoom in and i would like just go through as i'm clipping click here do my stuff scroll over do it like that but if you hold alt and scroll down it goes to the right if you hold alt and scroll up it goes to left it just helps so much with navigating your clip and like just being able to zoom in and scroll over to find the section you were at or coming up forward to get a different clip to add to a different section. It's just so much nicer with navigating. One other thing I just do instinctively before I have anything, I just only have my main clip is I turn this off. Just pretend I don't have any of these at the moment. It's just my main clip. I clicked it, dragged it in here, and it's just one whole clip. Go through. What I do is I go through and I clip everything that has empty space space where you hit the little audio section here if you change this to your audio track that has your mic which is what I do I go through and look for empty spots and I will clip those out and go to the very end everything that I want to include I clip those out and then I go to the beginning I add my first text by going to my text section auto caption and it auto captions my whole clip with whatever I'm saying and then it shows up in the standard font size and all that. The next thing that I would do is I would go to the first one, which is already here, and it will already be written in. I would scroll down, change the font, change the size, the color if you want to do that. Scale doesn't really matter at the moment, but one of the important things that I usually put is stroke. So having stroke there puts this little outline around it. You can change the color of it if you want. You can also change the thickness. In my case, I usually put it for 45, but in that case it was like 38. It makes this thickness around the text. You can kind of see it. I do it really fast the background's kind of dark so you might not tell but yeah, that's pretty much what it does it makes your words pop which i thought was pretty cool and i didn't use it before and it just looked goofy as hell anyway so once i go through and i do that and everything is added i change it and split it up so that if say for instance this and this this word or then this group here they are super long and now if these were together it would just be too much for someone to read so i split these right next to each other and then i put them like this now if you say for instance you have Add these together and you want to split them these are all going to be one thing so what you could do is you can hold alt click and drag and put it there and then you can change the rest of your sentence on the second one which is this one and then you can adjust as you need to to make it fit put it right next to it and then you go from there once you do all your tech stuff i can also add images if i want to so in this case for this part i did this i added different text different color different spot and then i added an image with some keyframes that allowed jesus to slide on in and then slide on out you could do all this safely at this point so these are all of what you would probably have assuming that you're just a beginner and like me and this is what i'm learning i did all of that once i was done with all of my texts in this section and they're all fit together all brought down so that it doesn't take up so much space i came down to the part where i wanted to add the music and I also wanted to extract my audio. So initially, if I, I had an issue where I forgot why I did it, but I, I created a compound clip for this text. Oh, because I, want, I added a transition to this compounded text and you can could do animations, but I did it. I wanted a different type. I wanted an animation like this. So creating a text or creating the compound clip on a text gives you these options because it pretends CapCut thinks it's a video. So you could change those options and it looks better. But because I did that for this next part, that messed me up because what I wanted to do is I wanted to click and drag all of these. Once I was done with all of this, right click, 
and pick the audio track, if you have a compounded clip in this whole thing and it gets highlighted too, depending on how long this is, it's not gonna give you this option to pick your audio track. And I needed that. So I changed my audio, or I ended up eventually highlighting all of this and then did undo compound clip, which removed it and it gave me this option to do the audio track. So I like to keep my microphone on the actual track itself, the main track. So I changed mine to two, which has my game audio which brought it, extracting it, brought it down to here. So I did clicked on audio tr or track two, and then I extracted that audio. After these are all highlighted, it brings it down to here. So now they're already matched up with all your clips or clipping that you've already done or splitting. So once you do that, this is not gonna have any audio on it. So what you do is you right click and then you recover there's gonna be an option you can do recover audio and then it brings your audio back. If it's still highlighted, you can right click, go to your audio and put it back on your microphone. So now you have your microphone for all of these clips and you have your game audio for all of these. Now you can highlight all of the video, the actual video that has your microphone. You can go up to audio and you can change the volume for your audios to see how loud or quiet you wanna be. Once you get done with that and you have it nice and you wanted to use any of these enhancements, you can reduce noise, vocal isolation, if you want, if you're familiar with that, but I just do it for the volume. Unclick from that, go across, highlight all of the in-game audio, and then you can change the volume, the in-game audio, however you seem fit. And once it's as loud as you want it to be, then you're done with that. They're already matched up. You don't have to worry about any kind of syncing issues because all you did was extract it and it's exactly where it needs to be. Just don't mess with it anymore. Now for the audio, obviously I wanted to add something like lo-fi. I got it from this. What I ended up, or what I pretty much did, I looked up lo-fi chill, clicked on it, listened to it, and then I downloaded it and added it to my video, cut it down so that it's even with the end of my video, and then bam, that's it. That's all I was really gonna do, at least for tonight. After doing it for this long and figuring out some, going through a little bit of issues with finding out what's wrong with certain things and why it wouldn't let me split the tracks, but primarily the biggest issue that I was having was finding a more efficient way of having multiple different audio clips and changing the volume for each. Because if you only had one video, if you clicked and dragged it down here and you did all your splitting, your text and all that, but say for instance, you wanted to, after you did all your clipping, you wanted to change the audio track to your, this one, which is your microphone, and you clicked and dragged it, or you changed the volume down so that your, your mic's not that loud. But if you go back to your normal track, which has the game audio, it stays, which I don't want it to stay because then the volume is just gonna match my microphone, which is what I was trying to lower anyway. And by doing this and just having it like this, it just lowers both the volumes or all the volumes on this track, which I never really figured out. So this is how I decided to fix that by just doing all my clipping first. Then I do all my text with my images and stuff or little effects. Leave out any compounding of any text or clips until after you extracted your audio so that you can highlight all of these. Right click, change your audio, extract it. Click back on these that are all highlighted. Recover your audio, change the track to your whatever audio you want to have, and then you can change the volume for both of them. And then you can add music at the bottom if you want. Instead of having to go through all of this work beforehand by just doing the initial part of extracting one audio, changing the volume, recovering this audio, putting it on the different audio you want to have, and then changing the volume, and then doing your clipping and stuff, which you would have to highlight both, delete both, and then move along. So you have two things you have to get rid of as you go through. And if you want to do it that way, sure, but this is just what I found to be easiest. Maybe it works for you, maybe it doesn't. That's just some of the things that I've learned. But anyway, I hope you guys learned something today because I sure did. I went through a lot of stuff and I will upload this if you guys wanted to see it. You guys are gonna probably see it. Anyway, my name is Unknown. Thank you for watching and y'all have a good one.